And this week, the program is Mendelssohn, the Scottish Symphony with the story of two queens and knights. And it's a huge romantic story in the symphony. And then, of course, the violin concerto with uh, fantasy and fairies and romantic feelings. What specific do you need to do to create this romantic magic this week with Ola Symphony? I think with the, the symphony, really understanding... Um, trying to understand the sound, uh, how um, uh, traveling to Scotland impacted Mendelssohn, how he thought that uh, he had found the beginning of the symphony while in this ruined ruins, uh, the ruins of a castle, how we have to have a sense of what's going on in music already, this Sturm und Drang feeling already. So uh, uh, with everything that Mendelssohn, it's the same person who who is the author of uh, Midsummer's Night's Dream. So all these elements are there, but really trying to go to the imagination of the composer, understand what kind of uh, traveling he did, how that impacted him in this piece and also in his other piece, Fingal's Cave or the Hebrides. Um, and I think that's really important to build the sound that affects everything, the speed of sound, the quality of sound, how we play the accents, uh, even tempo articulation that affects everything. And then, of course, Mendelssohn with all this fantasy, as you said, and with a young player. So I think there's really um, and it we will try to find that language. And of course, it comes very much from the soloist. So upon hearing what he has to say, we will try to build this fantasy and that imagination that um, I don't want to say lightness, but it's so different from the symphony. So it's trying to create sonorities that have to do with the context that the pieces were written in and the imagination of the composer at the time. That's really what I try to do. You mentioned that Ola Symphony is a young orchestra, which it is today. How does it, how, how, how can you hear that? How, how does it Oh, I'm, I, I meant uh, the, the soloist is quite young as well. But uh, I do notice that uh, um, there are young people in the orchestra and more experienced piece, people in the orchestra. And I, I, I have just heard that this week we have the uh, new principal clarinet after 37 beautiful years of the other principal clarinet. And I think it's uh, so great to start his tenure with the Scottish Symphony and to really understand how the new generations interact with uh, the more experienced ones. And I think it's really great. And it means that the orchestra is always searching for new ideas, for new blood and uh, uh, to pair it with the experience of others. I think that's all we want in life. I myself, I've, I started 20 years ago and I've always tried to learn with people who have played the symphony many more times that I will never, will ever conduct. So I think we all understand that both are essential.